Hello and welcome. I'm Mason Marangella from Vertex FX, and today we're going to do a dumbbell style pedal round table using our four dumbbell inspired pedals. Today our objective is to show you the differences between these four dumbbell inspired effects. Many of you have often asked about what the differences are and sometimes have been confused about where you might want to get one that sounds more like Robin Ford versus one that might be more in the vein of John Mayer. Some people will often buy a Steel String Supreme and expect Robin Ford and not realize that it's actually based on a completely dissimilar amp to the Overdrive Special that guys like Robin Ford often used. So what we're gonna do today is give you a little bit of background and education on each one of these pedals, the Dumble amplifier that it relates to, and then do a little bit of playing through these effects using both a humbucking guitar and a single coil Stratocaster style guitar. We're gonna go through this beautiful Two Rock Studio Pro so that you can hear how these sound in all their glory and where you might wanna choose one over the other, or heck, you may even wanna take them all. So let's check it out. So starting over here on my right, your left, we have the Ultraphonics Overdrive. Now the Ultraphonics is based on a Dumbo Overdrive Special. And we took several years to actually develop this product in parallel with several different Overdrive Specials. One of the things that people always say about the Overdrive Special is that it really depends on which one that you get that determines the sound because they were custom amplifiers at the end of the day. Well, because we got a chance to be in contact with so many of these, in fact, some really iconic ones that were used on several iconic records, we were able to create what we thought really worked about these amplifiers and kind of distill the X factor and put it into a pedal that was gonna work seamlessly, whether you had a clean platform that was an EL34 based platform, EL84, or a classic 6L6 or 6V6, like we have here today with the Two Rock. But enough of me talking about it, let's bring in my good friend, Tim, He's gonna play this through a single coil style guitar and a humbucking style guitar, so you can hear some of these differences. And it's really gonna exaggerate some of those classic overdrive special sounds, which is again, what this is based on, which is really in the vein of sort of a Larry Carlton, Robin Ford type sound. The next effect we have right here in the middle is our Steel String Supreme. This pedal is the bigger brother of the smaller Steel String Clean Drive. And basically it's a two channel version that also has the ability to be able to go direct if you wanna use it with any sort of cab simulation or IR loader. This is in essence emulating a Dumble Steel String Singer. If you're not familiar with what this amp is, it's actually quite different from the Overdrive Special. And what it's doing is it's emulating the clean Dumble tone that was used by players like Stevie Ray Vaughan and John Mayer and distilling that into a pedal platform that you can pair with a clean amp and really impart some of those Dumble essentials to give it that mid-range, that bloom, 
in the kind of the fatness of the note. And we actually offer controls on the Steel String Supreme to be able to not only control just the basics of the gain, the volume, and the tone, which we're calling filter, but also able to adjust how the note actually blooms. And so it has almost like a hybrid compressor style circuit in it. So you can adjust the fatness of the note, almost like taking it from 10s to 11s, like increasing your string gauge. And also it has a parallel mix, so you can mix how much of the note compression you want in with the core steel string singer circuit sound. And then you also have independent gain for input and output. So you can get it to saturate more on the input section and then have more of a clean boost on the output section or you can set them to use it as kind of like a two channel thing where you set one as just your core bass tone and then you add on that second layer with the Supreme side to enhance everything and maybe use that for a solo lead. So again, enough of me talking about this. I'm gonna have Tim take you through this using a Strat style guitar, humbucking style guitar. We're gonna see what this thing can really do. Next, we have the Steel String Clean Drive. Now this is the little brother of the Steel String Supreme, which is right next to it, that has the more comprehensive knobs and foot switches. This is the smaller version, which is just a single channel, just has three controls, the volume, the filter, and the gain, and has a jazz rock switch so that you can enhance the bass response or you can take away a little bass response. I really love this pedal if I already have a really nice amplifier that I'm running through and I just want to impart a little bit of that Dumble clean sound and kind of use it as a boost. Something like this Two Rock Studio Pro is a great candidate because it's already a wonderful clean sound and this just helps enhance and bring a little bit more life in to what's already there. This does not have the ability to go direct like the Steel String Supreme but nevertheless has that Dumble clean essence and really sounds great. If you're trying to get that John Mayer, that Stevie Ray Vaughan tone, that's really the core sound that both of the steel string style pedals are going for, is trying to really impart those sounds to your clean amp sounds. But again, enough of me talking, let's bring in Tim to hear how this thing sounds. Now all the way here on my left, your right, we have the Ultraphonics HRM. A lot of you may be confused. There's another Ultraphonics here on the table that we already talked about. What are the differences between these? Well, as you know, and as we said earlier, the Dumble amplifiers were quite different. And even though an Overdrive Special could be made, say, with 6L6s for one player, they also offered different versions of it. Some of them included EL34 tubes and were more martially based. And this was often referred to as HRM. 
Now, some people believe this to be hot rubber monkey, but I actually believe it to be a hot rodded marshal. And typically they exhibited more of those sounds of a hot rodded higher gain marshal amplifier. Typically more gain, a little crispier top end than the smoothness of the classic 6L6 double overdrive specials that you would have heard guys like Larry Carlton and Robin Ford use. This is certainly in the HRM a more aggressive gain sound, not overly gainy, all very usable, kind of a hybrid of the smoothness of a classic overdrive special and kind of the aggressiveness of a, maybe a mid to late 70s Marshall JMP style overdrive sound. Now that's not a super high gain sound, but that would kind of be in the kind of Angus Young sort of territory to kind of give you a baseline of what that would sound like. But again, enough of me talking, let's bring in Tim. Let's see how this thing sounds with a few different guitar choices. <laughs> So that was my roundup of our Dumble inspired pedals. Now each of these pedals sound great. Some of them are more for clean style, maybe lightly overdriven sounds like the two steel string pedals. Now on both these steel string Supremes, just like on our Dumble Overdrive special inspired pedals like the Ultraphonics and Ultraphonics HRM, we did have an actual steel string singer serial number one to voice these off of. So the circuit in these is what we found to be the closest to what that sound was when putting it through a clean amplifier platform. Now, when we were testing, we used a Hot Rod DeVille. Today, we have a much better amplifier than that. And the better the amplifier you use, of course, just the more it's gonna make all the idiosyncrasies and nuances of these pedals just really come alive. But even with something as sort of common and pedestrian as a Hot Rod DeVille or Hot Rod Deluxe, these are really going to turn that amplifier into a real beautiful boutique sounding amplifier with what they do to the clean tone and the enhancements that they make. The HRM and the Ultraphonics are really dyed in the wool overdrives and they definitely impart the sound and the smoothness of the overdrive special. And if you went to the Ultraphonics HRM, you'd get a little bit more aggressiveness. You also have a few extra controls. You have a separate accent control for the really high end presence in addition to the normal tone control. So a little bit of flexibility there, which we thought was important to be able to kind of voice that top end in accordance with what the amplifier was that you were using. But all in all, we have some great choices here. And I think that there is something for anybody who's looking for a true authentic Dumble Overdrive special tone or a true authentic steel string singer tone in a box, pairing that with your clean amp and being able to get you in that Dumble territory. I hope you enjoyed this roundup of our Dumble inspired pedals. Again, there is something for everybody here. You want something that's more high gain, classic Marshall, you got your HRM. You want more of the traditional Robin Ford, Larry Carlton vibe, you got the standard Ultraphonics. And if you wanna go with the John Mayer SRV type Dumble tone, that's that big, fat, clean tone with just a hint of hair and a little bit of drive, but still remaining clean, we of course have our two different versions of the Steel String with the Steel String Clean Drive MK2, the smaller one, and then the Steel String Supreme, which is the double channel, larger version. Something for everybody here. And I really appreciate you watching. I hope this clarified for you if you're thinking about any of these products. And of course, if you have any questions beyond what we talked about today, you can always leave us a comment in the comment section and we will get to that as soon as we can. And if you enjoyed what you saw today, I welcome you to subscribe, to leave us a like. And again, any questions, always put those in the comments and we'll be happy to answer that for you. Until next time, I'm Mason Marangella from Vertex Effects. See you later.